Hello. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to properly clean your KF4A Active Clad Alignment Fusion Splicer. The tools that will be required are a brush, a Phillips screwdriver, a fiber grade Q-tip, an Allen key, and a set of needle nose pliers. First, the automatic thermal stripper. Open both doors, take your brush, and from your center point, brush outward away from center. Turn your splicer on, turn your stripper on, close your right door. At this point, clean your channel. Turn off your stripper, close your doors. Next, your cleaver. First, open up your cleaver door. There are five points that need to be cleaned on your cleaver. Here, 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 and here. Making sure that all debris and glass are free from these areas. Also, checking the movement of your center plunger. Making sure that it is freely moving. If not, you need to clean this piece by first removing it. To do that, take your Allen key, remove your two screws, being careful not to lose your washers, keep pressure on the door because it is spring activated. Release your pressure. Remove your spring. Push from the bottom up. You need to remove this pin. Drop plunger from below and remove. With your Q-tip, take some alcohol, clean all four sides, also clean four walls internally. Place back in, replace your pin, by gently squeezing, putting pressure on, making sure it's properly seated. Replace your spring. Place your cover back on top. Replace your screws. Now should be working freely. Next, we move on to the V grooves. We need to clean the V grooves and cameras. For your V-grooves, take your brush and firmly brush back and forth 10 to 15 times should suffice. This should be done approximately every 20 to 30 splices. Just a very quick cleaning of your V-grooves. To clean your cameras, you need to remove one of your 
electrodes. Now you have access to your cameras. Taking your fiber grade Q-tip, some alcohol, and just gently cleaning off the surface of both your cameras. Then replace your electrode. Your electrodes will not need to be restabilized at this point, only when changing electrodes to new electrodes. Also, make sure your two plungers move freely. Close your wind cover. This completes this video. Thank you.